Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Mr. Today's election day in Pakistan, internet completely shut down. It was difficult for me to upload videos, but I'll try my best to stay connected with you somehow. Uh, I have uh, found a way to stay connected. Uh, two new stories in this video for you. First one is about Fano fighters. Videos, pictures are being shared of some security guards of the Amhara regional president uh, who have defected reportedly. And secondly, very important development, yesterday several drone strikes were conducted in the Oromia region of Ethiopia and according to a pro-Ola news source, Ethiopian military is launching an operation against the Oromo Liberation Army in some areas, in specific areas. What is the objective of this operation? In which uh, zones of the Oromia region will this operation be conducted? Details for you in this video. Firstly, viewers, uh, almost on daily basis, Fano groups are sharing pictures and videos of ENDF soldiers, ENDF commandos uh, who are shown with Fano fighters and Fano groups, pro-Fano elements, pro-Fano uh, news outlets claim that these ENDF soldiers, uh, Republican guards uh, have defected, they have joined Fano groups. It's difficult to say if they have joined Fano or they have been taken prisoner by Fano, it's difficult to say. But pictures and videos are being shared of ENDF members. We have seen uh, this week, in the last one week or so, we have seen video of, a, of an ENDF soldier who was from Sidama and he had been taken prisoner. Then some Republican guards were shown. And yesterday, a uh, four security guards of uh, Amhara regional uh, president were shown by uh, Amhara uh, Amharic news outlets, profano news outlets. And uh, one of these security guards was interviewed as well and he said that he had joined Fano. He said that uh, though he was being paid more when uh, he worked as Amhara regional president's bodyguard, but he wants to stand with his people. And then he linked uh, his faith as well. He said that he is an orthodox and uh, that is why he is joining this struggle. Uh, four, I think, security guards of Amhara regional president were shown. Uh, in videos yesterday. Uh, they were shown by Profano news outlets with Zamine Kasi. Zamine Kasi is Fano commander from Gajam. These uh, security guards of uh, Amhara regional president, I think they are ENDF members. I think they are ENDF members. But whether they are ENDF members or not, they sent a message to other ENDF members through this video saying that all ENDF members should join the Fano groups. By the way, from day one, since the start of this uh, uprising in the Amhara region last year in July, in May, I think, Fano groups have been trying to infiltrate military. They have been trying to uh, break into military so that large number of uh, ENDF members, uh, senior officers join Fano. It has not happened so far. Fano managed to get immense support from ASF members, former ASF members, Amhara Special Force members. Yes, they have joined Fano in thousands. Uh, I think Tens of thousands of uh, ASF members joined Fano after ASF was dismantled. 
But to say that ENDF members are joining FANO in large numbers, no, it, 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 it has not been confirmed. But, but that is what FANO fighters want. Because the day ENDF started crumbling would be uh, a crucial day. Perhaps it would be a day uh, which would uh, be catastrophic for the regional government and federal government. But it has not happened so far. I don't think FANO groups have infiltrated Ethiopian military. Secondly, viewers, Ola Romo Liberation Army has announced, uh, it announced two strikes and roadblocks in the last one month or so. One was announced at the start of January and the second was announced around a week ago. And during these two strike calls, we saw that uh, roads leading to Addis Ababa were blocked. Transport vehicles, cargo vehicles were uh, denied travel along main roads. Main markets were closed as well. So life in some parts of Romia came to a standstill, especially life in areas around Addis Ababa. Obviously, there was no significant activity in Addis Ababa. But Addis Ababa suffered. Why? Because when you uh, block the movement of grain, movement of uh, all cargo vehicles to Addis Ababa. Definitely Addis Ababa will suffer. People of Addis Ababa will suffer. Prices will go up. Prices of essential commodities will go up. Uh, two strikes announced so far. Maybe a third could be announced too. Before the announcement of the third strike, it seemed that military has decided to launch an operation against Olam, Romo Liberation Army. By the way, Ola stronghold is, everyone knows, Ola stronghold is Western Romania. Uh, Valaga, parts close to BG, close to parts of Romania, close to BG, close to Gambala. But Ola's strategic goal has been advanced towards Addis Ababa. That is why Ola for years has been trying to make inroads into central Romania, into areas close to Addis Ababa, into West Shoa, South West Shoa. And whenever Romo Liberation Army fighters manage to expand from Valaga towards Addis Ababa, an operation is launched and Ola members are pushed back towards the border. Same is going to happen now, it seems. Uh, by the way, yesterday several drone strikes were conducted by Ethiopian Air Force in Romania. The strikes were conducted mainly in uh, West Shoa, to the west of Addis Ababa. In Jibbeth, a dawn strike was conducted. In Dire, in Sinini, uh, in Sini, a dawn strike was conducted. Several dawn strikes were conducted. Target obviously was the Oromo Liberation Army. We don't know uh, how much loss was suffered by the Romo Liberation Army, but you'll see that now Ola Pro Ola news sources uh, will claim that civilians have been killed in these drone strikes. That is what happens. Whenever, wherever drone strikes are conducted, we see a narrative uh, from these armed groups spread as if the strikes are conducted against civilians. Now, reportedly, according to Pro Ola news sources, Ethiopian military has decided to launch an operation, military operation against the Romo Liberation Army in areas close to Addis Ababa. So, in which zones of the Romia region this operation will be conducted? Firstly, Horo Gadoro Valaga. Secondly, South West Shoa. Thirdly, North Shoa or Salale. And fourthly, West Shoa. So these four zones will be targeted, and the four zones are situated to the west of Addis Ababa. Uh, so no operation to the east of Addis Ababa. Why? I, I think Ola is in a stronger position to the west of Addis Ababa than to the east of Addis Ababa. 
uh, he shows not a traditional stronghold of fano fighters the stronghold is western part uh, and to some extent they have presence in northern part as well north shore uh the purpose of this operation is to push ola back into valaga and then may maybe there could be an operation against ola in valaga too uh could we say that uh, the likely peace process the likely third round of talks between ola and government could be derailed because of this operation well talks and operation could be held simultaneously operation will continue because uh, last time when ethiopian government and ola talked we saw that operation against ola and fighting went on though the intensity decreased considerably but uh, clashes went on same could happen to uh, to though i reported about some preliminary engagements between the oromo liberation army and ethiopian government uh, about uh, third round of talks which could start uh, when will it start we don't know but preliminary contacts have been established the two sides are finalizing modalities uh, at the same time military wants to push ola away from addis ababa it seems thank you for watching